So now we are um, in the 20th, 21st century where quantum mechanics is taken for granted as a very valid theory. Yes. Uh, the mathematics is very valid. It is very accurate. It's created all the technology all in technology. the world. And yet uh, people are still arguing about the interpretation. As I see, I go on Wikipedia, there are 20 and, plus. <laughs> yeah, 20 interpretations. plus interpretations. Interpretation. You seem to uh, side with the uh, Copenhagen interpretation, which, by the way, as I checked across, is still the most popular of all the theories. I would say it's still the most popular. A few years ago, it went out of style a little bit with the many worlds interpretation, but I think people now are realizing that maybe many worlds is a little bit too much. So, so what's, going the, what's the essence of the uh, Copenhagen interpretation as um, modified by, say, um, von, Neumann. von Neumann. And indeed, there are different, different uh, schools, even within the Copenhagen interpretation, there are different schools. There is the um, more original Copenhagen, which was uh, put together by Niels Bohr, then the reinterpretation by Werner Heisenberg. Uh, Pauli had some very deep insights, and last but not least, von Neumann. And I would say I do follow that school of thought up to a certain point where I differ, and perhaps where you and I would agree on that, is the role of the observer. Because in a way, uh, the von Neumann interpretation, and Henry Stapp, our good friend, would also say that it is a dualistic theory. And uh, I'm not satisfied with the dualistic theory. I say, well, there has to be a unity somewhere. But and the essence of the Copenhagen interpretation is that you need consciousness yes. to collapse the wave function, yes. right? So now, the, what collapse means is another story, but you, the observer uh, or consciousness plays an important role. And that was the point, but back to the original question of the conscious universe. It opened the door to consciousness. It did not answer the question of what is consciousness. What is consciousness? So lately, um, I've come to the conclusion that if indeed, if indeed what we're saying is the case, that consciousness is primary, and we'll give some more formal definitions, then it's got to be experienced everywhere at all times, and it cannot be just a scientific statement, it has to be a common experience statement. And this is where actually perhaps I part with my, my, most of my colleagues because they primarily still talking about um, um, formal systems within science. And my point is, well, it's got to apply everywhere. It's got to apply to everyday life. And when now I give talks or seminars on that, that's the point I make. And to my big surprise, of course, you have been at it for a long time. You know what, what I'm saying is the public actually reacts positively because they say, yeah, oh, I understand that. Is that what you mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. The quantum theory does not have to be very, very complicated. Available on CuriosityStream. Watch premium factual shows at curiositystream.com.